Okay, so to start off with, you've got your standard type of pin. Uh, with locks, they have two type of pins. They have the pin down the bottom, and then we have what's called a driver pin up the top. Now, to make a security pin, um, it's not really that difficult, and it will give your lock a lot more security. So I'm going to take you through and show you now. Spool pins, check pins, um, come in a variety of different shapes. You can have them with zigzags on the side. You can have them with slots in them. Like so. I mess that one up. Uh, you can have them with domes in them. Or you could simply just have ones with, um, you know, a notch out this side. And then a zigzag in here. So basically any configuration. One of the things you've got to be careful of is these pins have to slide up and down inside the chamber. So I'll grab my little ruler just so I can simulate this properly. So when this is sliding up and down, these pins and the outer diameter here need to be kept as a guide rail for this pin to move up and down. If we notch too much out, what will happen is with your shear line, which is here, what will happen is it'll kind of get caught when you put your key in and you apply a little bit of pressure these fine edges here can kind of get caught a bit so we want to increase the security by giving it a, a pick resistant feature but not kind of mess the lock up to the point where it's hard to get the key in and out all right so to start off with some locks already have security pins built in take for example this new lockwood 201 cylinder this already has spool pins built in as standard a lot of other locks like this one here don't so what we're going to do is we're going to key it up real quick and then i'm basically going to pick it open and then we're going to make a couple of spool pins i'll show you how to make them and we're going to see what the difference is okay so to start off with i have a cylinder here that's just been sitting on my bench it's got no pins in it but i believe it has all its top pins so i'm going to quickly go through and just check that and i'm just going to use a pair of tweezers for that so the way i like to do is just pop it open over like this check one check two check three three are loaded come back around the front check one check two check three okay i've got three uh three top pins loaded there so to start off with we're just going to key it up which is fairly straightforward uh two one five i'm just dropping in the corresponding pins 251 5 7 7 that's not a particularly hard combination that's a fairly standard combination this uh, lock here this, this cylinder here which is Brava just has standard pins in it standard driver pins okay so that's in there now okay testing and the keys working all right, step one. Now let's go through and pick this. Okay, so to pick this open, I'm just using an old crusty tension tool. I have an old Majestic that's so old it's got surface rust on it. And I've got my lazy uh, electric pick gun, so it shouldn't, shouldn't take too long. And that's a plane going overhead, so I'm just quickly gonna pick this. And bang, we're in. So as you see, that took me uh, only about five to ten seconds not long at all so that's with standard pins all right let's put this out of the way this other way if i was to pick this one here it would take me a lot longer let's just be clear about this spool pins do not make your lock pick proof they only make it pick resistant and for a lot of people pick resistant is a good place to start to increase your security all right so now that i've got my um, plug turned i could have also used the keys for all those people playing at home put your key in the cylinder turn it quarter of a turn Make sure none of the pins are going to fall into any funny spots. Follow through with your follower. Take your plug out. Sit it over here. You might not have a fancy plug holder like I do, but you can use other things. Okay, so I'm going to start at the back and I'm going to drop the last two pins. I'm going to show you what type of a difference it makes just with two pins. Now here's the standard pins that come out. I could actually just use these, but they don't give me a lot of room to actually uh, make my shapes that I want and to make those trapping those trapping uh, cavities so I'm going to be just be using two nine pins out of a standard pick set a standard pinning set 
and you can probably just use some longer lock pins you might have so you don't have to go out there and buy lock pins if I wanted to I could use the original one but they're a little bit harder to hold all right so let's get on to making it now okay so to make a driver pin spool pin mushroom pin you're gonna need a drill with a reasonable chuck on it a fairly tidy chuck and you're also going to need some little tiny warding files this one here I drilled through some silicon yesterday so it's it's not the nicest but it will do it's got a fairly tight chuck on it all right so I'm gonna put in a nine pin in there and this does take a little bit of effort to get it lined up if you're lucky enough to have a jeweler's lathe you will find this nice and easy to do okay now it's in there I'm just gonna spin it see how true I can actually get it what I mean by true is that when you spin it it's spinning nice and centered you can also buy a little tiny chuck off eBay if you wish well it's not too bad a little bit off centered completely off there and that's reasonable all right let's uh, zoom in so we can see what's going on okay I'll have to do it this way so I can see what's going on so to start off with uh, we're going to try and make let me see which uh, file is good so this one here is a bit of a triangle edge so it's only the teeth aren't very good on that file the better the files the better job you're going to do okay this one's a good one it's like a triangle where it's on both sides so we're going to try for um, something along these lines right here so here we go let's start the lathe up and it's come out this is the problem with using a, a drill lathe well it's not even a lathe but using a drill and you know what I really should have cleaned up my vice all right let's start that again okay so let's load it in yep that's looking good tighten it in a little bit. okay now that's true so we're going to be able to do this a lot easier now so with this file right here it's a bit of a round file so I'm going to be using that to achieve something like this one here. Move it out here so you can see. Okay, and there we have it. So I think you can clearly see the indent there and that we've left this high spot and the other high spot to allow it to slide up and down in the actual uh, cylinder without causing too much trouble so that way as the pin goes up and down it's not going to get caught on the shear line okay so there's our first one there I think that looks pretty good now let's make something a little bit more complicated with some sharper grooves check it's set oh, it's a little rough still rough the more meat you give it the better centering you'll get and that's good I'm happy with that okay let's bring it over here now I'm going to get a nice file that's going to do some nice work here's one here so I'm going to try and do a, a, some type of groove like this one here okay let's zoom into that and see what you can see I think that's fairly decent uh, I'll put something behind it so you can see a little bit better okay see the shape on that so I mean these files as well these are the nastiest files I've ever used or rubbish okay so there's two driver pins right there ah, I just dropped all my pins there so let's quickly throw them back in okay so there's my housing and we're gonna we're going to just quickly load it back up. Okay, 
Exactly. Okay, so I'm putting this one in with the point facing the top. Alright, five pins loaded. Let's put our plug back in. Let's give it a test. Left and right. Key come out. Key go in. No big trouble. Key's a little bit low. Right, so we saw how quick we got through it before. Let's try it now with two spool pins. I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm going to give it the same amount of uh, technique. Yeah, and it has picked. Okay, so clearly those pins we made were not good enough to capture the shear line for where we need it. So let's improve it a bit more. Okay, there we have a pretty nasty looking spool pin. Let's, uh, let's set that in and see how that goes. So to start off with, I'm just going to be using standard driver pins in the front, and I'm just going to be using this one spool pin in the back, and we're going to see how much resistance we get from just the one. So I'm just uh, setting it up now. So we made two and they didn't seem to have much effect at all. Let's see how this one works. And the driver pin. Okay, key is turning. Key goes in, key comes out, no problems. Let's give it a hit. Okay, still pickable. Okay, so we have our driver pin now which we made, which is this one here. I'll zoom in so you can see. See that? It's a really nasty driver pin. So what I've done is I've given these springs a little bit of a stretch, and just with this one driver pin, I'm going to be putting him in the fourth, sorry, this the fifth chamber, the six-pin cylinder, and I'm putting put him in the fifth chamber, second from the back. Give this uh, spring a little bit of a stretch as well, and I'm going to include actually a second one here as well, if you can see this one. So that's two spool pins on a slightly stronger spring. Let's give that a go. Okay, cylinders in, two spools at the back, in fifth and sixth position, key works good. Key goes in and out good. Yep. Okay, let's see if, uh, how long it takes to pick. Okay, still pickable. Okay, so these spool pins, they do give you extra security. I mean, it's not an unpickable thing. They still do take, they do make it harder to lock pick. In certain cylinders like this one here, which is a five pin compared to a six pin, this actually has them in there. Because of the tighter tolerances, the stronger spring pressure, and the spool pins all put together, it can make it quite hard to actually lock pick. But you can still make your lock picking pins like this, and they will give you extra security, whether or not the person who tries to pick your lock, or whoever you're trying to get not to pick your lock, whether or not they can defeat it, really depends on their skill level and the type of pins you use. So let's let's now do a demonstration on this one here. Uh, no luck there.
Okay, so as you can see, these particular cylinders have a lot more pick resistance than your standard 570 cylinder, and this is a Brava brand one. Okay, so now let's try putting the stronger springs with the spool pins into this type of cylinder. Okay, so what I have here is a standard brand new cylinder with the spool pins in, with a key. Let's pull it apart. So you can tell this one is laser engraved and it says Asa Abloy on the front, not just Lockwood. So this is the new one. Okay, so we're going to be popping that back together later on. Let's put that over there. All right, now let's see uh, see what we've got here. The tweezers are here. This one has been rekeyed, but it still has uh, these springs. So let's see if these springs make a difference. So I'm going to put one right in the front, spool pin right in the front. And two in the back. The two spool pins we made are out. Going for these Lockwood style springs. Okay, that's two. Okay, so now we are loaded up with uh, these Lockwood style springs, and just for your reference, there's one spring against a non Lockwood spring. Same diameter, just have a look here. Okay, Lockwood, non Lockwood. Okay, and we've got those mushroom pins in there. So I think that pretty much proves the moral to the story. Um, yes, you can make your own spool pins and you can make it out of your own driver pins that you currently have or you can make it out of number nine pins which is a little bit easier, gives you a little bit more meat. But I think the moral of the story is to get that extra pressure on those pins uh, makes the spool pins work better. So using the Lockwood, uh, Lockwood springs, we have more luck of our spool pins, which are these ones here, jamming up. So if you wish to increase the security on your locks, you can do this at home. And um, if it makes your locks a little bit less pick resistant, then that's a good thing. If not, you might want to consider, you know, some lock with the new Lockwood cylinders. They're, you know, quite a, quite a battle to pick even for a regular lock pickup. Um, if not, you can always move over to a high security option like um, Abloy, Multilock, uh, Eva. There's so many of them out there. So anyway, hope this has been some fun for you and thanks for watching.